Hello, Recreation 7, and welcome back to Rule of Waves 2 as we continue our run as the Confederate States of America. And we are very much heading towards the end game, having secured almost all our starting objectives. At the end of the last episode, we did start a war with Germany, and our entire focus on this one is to secure Cameroon and complete our West African holdings. Now, we have been in this position before, uh, where we thought we were one short war away from completing everything, only for it to unravel with the uh, British involvement, drag us into a war on two fronts and ultimately end in a, a kind of stalematey white piece. But I have higher hopes for this one. So without further ado, let me hand you back over to live Twitch audio. Whoa! Okay, perfect. Fleet sport for, I don't have any submarines, so it doesn't really matter, but fleet sport anyway. Let us mobilize everyone. Activate everything. that. Right, you guys do trade protection. Apparently I don't need that much. But let's, uh, even though we're in outbreak of war, oh, we're in negative while at war. That's uh, disappointing. Okay. We'll refit you guys. Okay. Um, and then you. Oh, well, five battleships, actually, yeah. I know we said keep me in the home zone, not. It's like, it's, it's not. You too. You can hang around. Oh. Okay, perfect. That's actually balanced it. Nicely, right, who is where? Let's just send you three out to West Africa. Try that again. West Africa, please. Let us send uh, our new. Let's reserve to West Africa. We may not be able to keep them all out there for. Arbin is fine. You guys up north. Currently in West Africa. I'm actually going to. I'll bring you home next turn. Two newest light cruisers out to West Africa. Let us take... Who should we take? We'll take everyone. Well, we might as well take our... New CVs out. Then all my newish destroyers. Alright, and then we'll see where our forces... Well, I'd be interested to see if they do send anyone. Send a, well, actually, they've sent a few people into North America. Where are my other CV? Looks good. I think. Careful, I don't end up blockaded here. Let's move. Uh, Cubas. Move the Cubas down to the Caribbean. Have our two heavy cruisers there. Have our CVs. Well, there's. So that's enough. So I regret having uh, scrapped my battleships. But we need to do it to balance the budget. I'd like to invade, please. Okay, let's see how we get on. By defense. Okay. Why?
Oh. I have questions. No, oh, because my ships are all probably... Yeah, because they're travelling from North American East Coast down to Caribbean and then over, so they haven't arrived yet. We have lots of ships here right now. Yes. But I need... a little bit more up here. There's at least some light forces. Not in the Caribbean that we can... Up there, let's move. I know what we're gonna do actually. We're gonna grab archers who are in the west. We're gonna move back to the Caribbean. Good, and we can move Huntsville up to the North American East Coast. Company that with. Let's move you guys out. Back up North American East Coast. Better. Invasion battle. My invasion battle? No, his invasion battle. Okay. You try to invade Nigeria. Um I've got Three CVs, he's got two. I've got three CVs, he's got one. Three battleships, he's got one. But he does have a lot of heavy cruisers. This could be a good fight. Attack ships, because they are coming towards us. Will be... In range of... Yeah, their airfields. Lala. But what we got to play with? We have... Our lovely three CVs named after our places in Africa with a reasonable screen of light cruisers. We have our new heavy cruisers as well. Chuck a tuck. Inandoa class. And we have the Malt the Balian Castle. Ooh, hey. This is quite a handy little force. It is. 5 minutes to dawn. Search. I'll do that for a search. Why on earth would you look that way? I assure you, wherever they're coming from, it's not there. This looks fine. 300 is probably Let's go for max cap, I think. Oh, go. I'm gonna get them on heavy. What's apparently some older dive bombers? We'll get a couple hundred nautical miles range. Please do all heavy. Guys, I think I'm even going to use as an escort. Good. I just do all heavy. Let change it. Fine. And. To yourselves. Else, my last two and then the rest I think are gonna be heavy cruisers. Good, and then on here. Fine. Yeah. Uh yeah, let's use our float planes as well. Why not?
and don't want you to go too far from the port. Are you in Bay of Lagos? Lagos? I don't know. Keep going. No, because they need to come to us. So let's not rush out. All the search planes, please. I would like to decimate their cruiser force here. From unknown radar contact? Are you kidding me? Better be one of our ships. Right, Tacony. Waiting. Means you're not going to leave their visual sight range. Well, let's pull you guys over in this direction. Rally, what are you doing? Over here. In fact, it's just. One of our own shipping, but uh, you never know. Actually, this looks like quite a big fleet. How are uh, how are they in the middle of us? It's done. Yeah, this is insane. This is insane. Squad Max, let's get you going. Yeah. Okay, Dawn is on its way. When Dawn comes, we're going to launch all our planes. Absolute carnage. Right. Only that's your battle line, that's your transports. Uh, not worry about anything. Um, planes, please. Okay, already. Be too heavy. So let's. Hi, Palmer. The fighters as well. Okay, what was it? Well, we are going to go right here and go for, say, battleships. Which I'm assuming there's no CVs and CBLs in this bunch. Honestly, I don't really mind about the coordinate strike. I think just go. Yeah, and I'm going to send as many. Maybe it should be too many. Let's drop. Yeah, he's perfect. Ready. Rest. Slightly down, slightly, yeah, slightly different place, just further to the south. I mean, that's gonna be absolutely no difference anywhere if it's such a small point. There was almost no point. Think of it, although it's undid my selection. It's done. Go for it. I'm taking the bomber group here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two CVLs.
Okay, my only problem is if this is their transports, they may not have far to go to achieve their victory. So I need to make sure I've got someone like you just trying to get around in front of them. Actually, a basket ship? I'm going to find whatever ship captain was doing picketing duties. Oh, it's a pretty cruiser. We should hold them. got to watch we don't get, like, we can end up have later numbered here. Light is coming in. Bailey's taking some hits and we're lighting up the Beluka class. Oh, that is apparently a battleship. 38,000 ton battleship. Okay. Pull away a little bit. are quite outnumbered purely from battle line until our plan Oh, Bridge division's been spoiled. I'm hoping we can kind of decimate this Nuremberg. Find it around the front. Planes are out. Here's our actual launch strike. Here they come. This should be fairly uh, energy. I'll coin that as a word. The Margo's taking a little bit of buffing uh, from Nuremberg. Oh. Our heavies are lighting up with sadlets. Rock in terms of the main armament. Similar, 16 inches, okay. Okay. Where it starts. Let's see if we can get in between transports and their battle line. Okay, Blucher gets hit. Edlitz gets hit. Nice. First attack, it's already uh, going pretty well. That is if we can drive in here, which is a little bit risky, but we don't have that many destroyers. Heavy cruiser and his rescuers can just light up this transport and prevent them getting to, from wherever they need to go. Meanwhile, can I get visual range like might be good enough. But just now, head over this direction. And the Muskegee, where's your pony? Here we go. You're absolutely wasted. Let me see. Me. You guys in front of it as well. Right away, lads. That's good. Don't watch Nuremberg's two car torpedoes. No, oh, good. He looks like a dead Nuremberg class. This is excellent. You guys should be coming in to mop up the troop. Perfect. Don't really know what you guys are doing back here. Scout, no, don't scout. Uh, Umbi core, I think. 
Also hitling the sealets, albeit with our secondaries. Bailey and the castle. Uh, and the castle hits with a primary as well, actually. Heavy damage on the sealets. And we have also tame the torpedo as well. Okay, this is from our surface fleet. Looks so, like so this guy's stopped moving and is dead in the water. And you chaps. Down to maybe mop up the rest of these heavy cruisers. We open up a little bit of a gap. Get an errant torpedo from your light escorts. Yeah, Seedlitz is having a pretty bad day. May attract a lot of overkill, unfortunately. Good. Someone's uh, decided the seedlets had enough and gone somewhere else. Or they just missed and hit with Danzig by accident. The destroyer, that's impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> the seedlets. Poor thing. You maybe turn up this way. Shores are having an interesting time of it. That way seems fine. You guy. Well, I'm gonna slow you guys down actually. Though, so, five bombers. Have we had any reports of? Yes. You guys are now going to head it towards that. Happy my heavy cruisers can kind of mop up everything that's here. What? Did you get hit? Nope. Right, we may not be able to go chasing the uh, carrier forces. Bad is it? Oh, bad enough you've split off. Tell me. Oh, that is a bad one. Wow. Okay. Got home. And request land that way you're at it. This port has been hit up here. Ah, I see this is just the uh, ranging too close to the destroyer. That is the east port. Not nothing. Let's send you home. Whether you go home, nah, that's another question. You are living dangerously more actually. Should be fine now. We can go back to it. Port gone home? Not quite. Start heading slightly south. 
should have enough cap to deal with anyone that comes at that formation, I'd like to think. If we can get a second strike away. Everyone here is pretty much toast. So you. Uh, this is going to be turning a good day into a very bad day. Oh, don't do that. Alright. Did it attach you? Destroyers again, and your destroyers are not. Probably because they want support. So, that is it. Actually, you're fine. Any more reports of kind of out here? Fourteen medium bombers. Nice. We got an attacking something. Oh, the one got shot down. Here you go. They are attacking. Uh, I don't suppose anyone has come available again. Oh, they are. Fine. Let's get everyone ready for round two. Ready all, please? How far is it? Ah. All heavy. Heavy. Although... I don't really want you. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll do. Alright, well, those guys get ready and we'll send a strike against their carry force. Bombers, yeah, medium, yeah, medium bombers doing the work there. Two destroyers flying around, which we would like to mop up. Ready. Guys, already it looks like it's like already. Is it still too many? It's too many. Just good it means we haven't lost that many planes. Let's drop torpedo bombers from you. Um, likewise, I'm gonna go. How much way they're sailing? With this looking for CVs. Go for it. Uh, it's not. I don't know if there's much I can do about that. Do I want to coordinate? Oh, that's a good point, actually. Come in two hours, I don't know where they're going to be now. Let's just go for it. Might seem a little bit silly given that uh, we have an escort if you're not coordinating. It's going to lead to higher losses. Ready? You are escorting the mod home, unfortunately. Downside of not playing captain's mode.
Alright, let's see if they find anything. Probably kind of moved on. Either way, this is going to have been a good day at the off. Here? Or an apart. Ah, yeah, maybe I should have bitten the bullet and uh, coordinated. Ah. Oh, your floating's almost under control, but I'm still happy about it. Hatch. There, and then you come off AI controlled and sail into late. Yeah, why not? And when we hit another C8, we're losing a lot of planes here. Okay, hit something, this is good. You guys should be able to head off in this general direction. Hey, but Randolski, welcome in, my friend. Thank you for the raid. Shenanigans we up to. That's an early finish for you. And thanks to follow quick. We're just decimating the uh, German fleet off the coast of West Africa. Okay, good. We are currently have got a uh, carrier airstrike going against the German carriers. We have. Mopped up their surface fleet of one battleship and a lot of heavy cruisers. They were daring to try and uh, invade rightful Confederate Nigeria. That one. Ah, Flyboy's doing some good work. Okay, well, let's see if we can get down here and find out what this is. Uh, it's the boy tonight off early. Yeah, no problem. Is your ship still float all the way? Um, no. I think we retired. Did we retire? No, I think she got retired forcefully at the wrong end of a torpedo. But you live on in spirit. We'll build a monument in your honour or something. <laughs> Sorry, KR. Also, means I must be approaching the thing here. But not quite yet. We'll see this one out. Leave more mu music while we do so. Beautiful. Yeah, no worries, Kiara. I will see you soon enough. Thanks for the raid. Always appreciated. Yeah, we'll launch some floatplane scouts. Although we vaguely know where the, uh, the enemy is. No launching planes, so they're not spent for us yet. How long do we have until... So, button dusk. 7 hours and 50 minutes. Our battleships are running fairly slowly. Our heavy cruisers. Everyone's seeing a little bit of damage from that surface flight. We didn't want it heavily, but it's going to impact our belt to chase down these carriers. Ali had some glide bombers have a go of it. Don't think it's been hit though. Oh, and you're right up by the port. No, oh, you're absolutely fine. It's always good to see. More planes approaching enemy ships. Perfect. Peter Bomber's going in. There's another. Hopefully, we've decimated a few carriers in here. It's just lots of red dots of our planes going in. We did fail to coordinate the strike and have got through their cap just by sending more planes than they can handle. But we did take some a fair. have a lot of planes here. Maybe we'll be able to get another wave in if we're lucky. I'm 
20 torpedoes. Pretty awesome. Uh, ragtag fleet sail vaguely towards the sounds of battle. Okay. Oh, well, I know we're still trying to send a few planes at us, but I think we're handily winning this right now. There's one enemy destroyer shadowing us on the edge of recon. Radar range, which is a green dot. Still got seven hours left until dusk. Let's have a quick check of our... Yeah. Then we'll come home. They have come home. Excellent. So we can load up another strike and send them merrily on there. Ready all? One number you dive bombers have come home and some torpedo bombers. Ready yourselves up to go out again. It'll be three strikes in one day, that's good going. Rarely are my carriers so efficient. Okay, that's good. Combat we're winning for now, which is good. Waiting for our new planes to be ready, essentially. Scouting report over here of unknown. Probably just some remnants of that initial service engagement. Rally concentrate down here where we know all the CVs have been. Our formations are ready. Let's get them on their way. Ready, which is probably too many for our. More planes that can be launched at any one time. You, I don't believe. Yeah. Okay, go. I'm in this general area. We're looking for CVs if we can find them. Uh, do I want to actually coordinate this time? Do I want to keep launching? It's two hours. Feels like a long time. No, I, I think we have punched through enough of their air defenses now. That's what I'm telling my fighters, pilots. But it's all going to be fine. Won't even utter any phrase like acceptable no loss. But we will. We'll send. Uh, Get some enough torpedoes. Still bust? Okay. Hey, Defondal, thanks for the sub, my man. Appreciate the use of Prime. Okay. So we have to trim you down. All heavy? Ah. Should be able to change them to heavy bombs, but my pop-up's not working. That's fine. Okay, let's sink the last of these German planes and then we can... All this is so we can invade Cameroon. Once it. Form of aircraft getting ready. Do I want to adjust the final location for you? Why are you asking me that? This our... Heavy cruiser, which is good and get them out as a scouting force. Our cap is doing wonders against their uh, medium bombers. Okay, so they are not, they have not come from CVs, they have come from the airbase over in Douala. Left in this neighborhood. Okay, our planes are still finding someone. They are getting badly chewed up for their efforts. Yeah, it's the downside of not doing a coordinated strike, but we just have so many planes. I'm not worrying too much about it.
we'll have our battleships on the way as well. And did we do? Left, if anything's left by the time we get there. We'd run a bit faster. Long summer's day at the equator. Start getting radar pings. We're all sunk already. It's gonna launch. Hmm. Okay, generally surprised we didn't find anything. Pause, let's clear all our... Uh, fresh ones that come in. Yeah, but it may be that actually we sunk everything that was here before we got there. We'll just send the boys back home. I was just pointing up our surface fleet was going to get a little bit involved. And now you found someone that's moderately disturbing. Where are they? Oh, okay, it's that. Don't go too close to him, eh? He can limp home and tell the others the carnage wrought on them by the mighty Confederate Navy. And considering this was the first couple months of the war, and all our pilots are going to be not in great nick. Right, come. Mate. Oh, yeah, and yet. I'm sorry. They keep coming. Go home before it was truly over. A like a light cruiser and some destroyers there. Now they don't have enough transports left to complete their mission, so it doesn't really matter. Don't really want to engage those guys at night time. It's fine. Okay, good. So we lost not a single ship, not a sausage, not a destroyer was sunk. A little bit of light scuffage and one heavy scuffage. And in return, we sunk two battleships, two uh, carriers, one escort carrier, six heavy cruisers, and nine destroyers with... What's that? Two light cruisers and four destroyers living to tell the tale. Fantastic. Great start to war. Let's have a look at ship details. The Sadlitz we saw got absolutely battered, and then when it was sinking got annihilated by torpedoes. Bad time of being the heaviest battleship on the other side. And the Europa here. Four torpedo hits. So yeah, that was just our air attacks got uh, Europa. Eight bomb hits. Lots of evading. What kind of size bombs they hit? <laughs> She took 8,000 pound bombs. Now these are 10. <laughs> tend to be kind of ship killers in their own right. Uh, it was a bad day for Europa. Um, in the Graf Zeppelin. More torpedoes and bombs this time. Excellent. Oh no, it's going to be a mix for these heavy cruisers between bombs and torpedoes and uh, shell hits. Generally, a pretty darn good day. So, plane-wise, we did 468. We lost almost 100. That's quite high, actually. Mainly 41 to 8. So that was the... 
and a cavalier attitude to not being a coordinated strike. I'll take the one on my chin. Uh, I mean, probably lost 160. A lot of that will be lost on the ship. Yeah. Oh, the trails? Of oh, big ships, please. Yeah, all our air attacks were in on this kind of area. And that's where all the CVs essentially died. Like, Royer and one CL made it out of that group and everyone else. Awesome. Ah, there's a 25,000 victory point swing. I'll take that very much to prestige. Not bad for the second month of the war. Back to the enemy invasion and hopefully we can get our own. Get some uh, aces for our fighters. Five bombers. 20 bomb hits, that's really good. Didn't invade, just unfavourable weather. Any ships left here? Handful, a handful of heavy cruisers. Ace, so our invasion of West Africa not be far away, and that will finally wrap up the kind of hegemony we wanted over the East Coast of Americas and the West Coast of Africa. And on that note, we're going to bring this episode to a close, because that's where this stream came to a close. So a resounding victory in that first battle with the Germans, which should pave the way for our invasion of Cameroon. Fingers crossed. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that happen live, then do check out the links in the description below for details on my Twitch channel. The next stream should be uh, the Monday after this video goes up. The next Rule Waves 2 stream, and it's always good to have you along. Otherwise, it'll be chopped up on YouTube as per usual, and as I mentioned uh, maybe a couple of episodes ago, I will uh, fixed, have fixed the microphone by then, so no more mumbliness. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!